Hey everyone, this is Torn Apathy here, and uh, today is more of a little bit of information as well as why I've been streaming for about six years uh, on and off and haven't had the success that I've wanted. Um, most of that, of course, is due to the constant time off, but as well as mentality. So we're going to talk about that. We're also going to talk about setup and uh, also do some question and answering for next video so very <clears throat> first and foremost thank you guys so much for checking out the other videos uh, they've done fairly well in my opinion so I'm thankful for all of the views all of the comments uh, it means the world to me so thank you so much for that um, so I want to give something back to the community um, where you guys can get a lot of information and not have to worry about you know, harassing anybody, it's just readily available to you. Um, so if you have any questions uh, about streaming, you have any questions about content making, you have any questions about anything, uh, don't hesitate to ask. Um, this isn't my only YouTube channel. I have another YouTube channel that has uh, about 120 subscribers and uh, my biggest video on there has about 32,000. Uh, it's all about automobiles, so there is that. <clears throat> so, uh, essentially, <clears throat> excuse me, today's video, uh, again, like I said, I've been streaming for on and off for about six years. I've done it on Twitch, I've done it on Mixer. I'm currently on Mixer now. Um, so, this is about mentality wise you know you get into streaming you love it you sort of want to do it full-time but you're not getting the viewers or the you know people coming in as much as you were hoping it takes time uh, it takes a lot of time I remember my first week of streaming like I, I had nobody in I mean like nobody like streaming was not that big you know four or five years ago uh, as it is today, you know, in 2019, um, it took a long time. You know, I have about 850 uh, followers on uh, Twitch, 220 approximately on Mixer. I'm not a big time streamer. You know, I'm not full time. I'm not anything like that. But to get to those numbers, it took me a couple months for Mixer to get to the 220, and on uh, Twitch, it took me six years. Again, I did it on and off, so you have to stay constant. You have to stay with the program, so make yourself a schedule, you know, and stick to it. Even if it's two days a week, even if it's one day a week, you stick to it and let people know what it is. Otherwise, you're not going to get that following. You're not going to build up that brand recognition, and that's what this is about. It's about letting people know who you are as a whole. So why I do it. I love it. I think it's amazing. Um, I don't necessarily need the viewers, the followers. I mean, of course, I'd love to have them. Everyone wants to be a full-time streamer and get money, um, but the reality is that you might not be able to. Um, so do it because you love it, not because you're trying to make it into a job. Uh, people will see the love, the passion that you have for it, and they'll come to you. You know, if you don't have that, they won't. I mean, I'm a 18 plus streamer. That's what my mixer is. I swear, I curse, I get angry, I get agitated, but I still love what I do. I love video games. Video games have been the world to me since I was five years old. You know, that's what I remember doing uh, forever. So to me, like, video games is more of an outlet than it is, uh, you know, a hobby. Like, I love my video games. Like, without them, I would probably not be the person I am today. <clears throat> So with that being said, stick to it, stick with it, don't give up at whatever you do. If you really want to do this, don't give up because honestly, things can change, you know, from day to day. You know, one day you could have the worst day ever. No one shows up. No one talks to you. Nothing happens. And then the next day, it's 100 people in your chat, you know, just asking you, you know, how you're doing and can we play with you and everything else like that. So again, it's it's a day by day thing. Don't let one day ruin a lifetime because one day can change the world for you. Stay constant with it. Be honest with yourself and be honest with the world, like what you want to do with it. Don't lie because people can see through that.
right? So next, I'm going to show my setup. So that way people can see what I'm streaming from. So I am streaming from Elgato Capture Card. You can see right there. It's the HD uh, 60S, so it's <clears throat> pretty much the high performance one for <clears throat> Xbox, PS4. I do have an Xbox, it's behind the laptop, Xbox One X. And then, of course, it's connected to my Lenovo iPad, Idea Pad, iPad, Idea Pad 330 with iCorp i5 processor. It's got a, it's a hexacore. I'm using OBS software. You can see in the background right here, of course, my A40s for headset, of course, standard Xbox controller. <clears throat> now, I've got a an interesting setup because my ports uh, I only have like two USB ports and then an H, uh, USB C port so I had to convert one of my ports over to <coughs> a USB hub so I can get more ports on that so that's why you see that now it does work you only really need one to make it into a 4 or 8 or whatever you want <coughs> I do recommend it so that way you can optimize your your setup you can have everything easily accessible for yourself like I have all my peripherals I've got my Logitech webcam C920 up here and then I've got my Yeti mic over on the side now I do have it on the side of me uh, the reason why is because it's not that hard to hear me uh, these Yeti mics actually are amazing I should do a review on them so that way you guys get an idea about that. They're probably one of the best USB mics on the market right now. Then of course I have my Ethernet hub. Uh, essentially, I have one or two wires that come in here for my Ethernet. One's direct hookup and then one's hooked, uh, one's hooked up to my laptop, one's hooked up to my Xbox. Um, I could just take it out and hook it all up to the hub. I just haven't done so because I want to... <clears throat> Uh, minimize my wire spacing and get like another small cable uh, those hubs are really important so that way you can literally have easy access especially if you can't stream in your uh, near your mo uh, modem or anything else like that so this is my setup nothing too fancy you've already seen the monitor a bunch of different times so we don't have to go too much into that I did replace that monitor um, I had a bigger TV, but I wanted a smaller monitor so that way it could fit on the TV and I wasn't having to look. Because you can pretty much see from my angle, you can see the whole monitor <clears throat> from right here on there. It's a 25 inch. So, uh, see the boom arm. The only thing I don't like about this is this the boom arm, it slips a little bit. So I want to get a little bit better set up. I could use the stand itself. I just don't like the stand. And then, of course, I've got my wireless chargers for Xbox, and then my PS4 is over there. That's not plugged in. Uh, so you can see everything is pretty ugly, uh, but it's not noticeable unless you look at the setup overall. Um, <clears throat> if you have any questions about any of those things, please let me know. I'm here to answer it. If you have any other questions about anything, um, be more than happy to help you out with my setup. I am running a gig internet, so I can help you with your bit rates for OBS or Streamlabs. I've used them all. Uh, besides uh, XSplit, I think that's the right one. Um, I, I did use it for like a couple days. I just I didn't like it. I didn't like the setup. It's not bad. It's just I personally didn't like the configuration. I do like OBS. I do like Streamlabs, uh, OBS. <clears throat> I did use Elgato software for a little while. Um, I just think OBS as a whole is a little bit less resource hogs. So if you have a very uh, older com computer that you're streaming from that you use an ca uh, capture card, OBS might be the better option so to, to redu reduce resources. So uh, with that, thank you so much and Look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye now.